Do you know when you get that first sip in, it almost hugs your heart? Oh yeah. Welcome to Worth the Can one of you clap? Worth It UK, the show where we test three different things at three drastically different price points to determine which is the most worth it. I'm Rich. I'm Ada. Tea connoisseur. Self-professed. This week, the drink of the UK. More important than water. Pretty much currency. Tea. Have about 20 cups a day, have to. Wait, is that genuine, like 20? A day without tea means I haven't left my bed. It's a bleak day. Yeah. <laughs> Joe! Who are you? Well, I'm Joe. Honestly, what about that seat there? First stop, cabman shelter. Basically, fantastic spots to get tea for cab drivers. You don't have to be a cab driver. You can't be an Uber driver, put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> they came in around 1800s. A lot of the time, taxi drivers would take a break but go into pubs. These things were built as a sort of rest stop. Didn't serve alcohol. So they were drunk driving horses? <laughs> yeah. My name is Tracy Edwards. Cabman shelters started back in 1875. So that's why we have the bar to tie up the horses. Anybody can order from the hatch, but only taxi drivers can come and sit inside. In my process, you just gotta have boiling water, fresh tea bag, and just make individual tea for everybody. I'm very proud of my 70 pence cup of tea. Can I have the Arsenal mug, please? Oh, that actually belongs to Keith. These are specific mugs owned yeah, by people. Yeah, the, these are. The West Ham one is my delivery man. So there's some builder at the window called Spider. Tattoos everywhere. And he bought this Crystal Palace one, so good on Spider. Good, good on Spider. Yeah. <laughs> what would happen if Keith saw me drinking out of his Arsenal mug? Don't miss with Keith. <laughs> So today, you two are just going to have a standard cup of tea for 70 pence from me. Tracy was incredibly kind and offered us a seat in the shelter. Unfortunately, our sound man broke the rules. What's this all we're about it? It's been ejected. <laughs> Disgraced himself a little bit. But you know what? I quite like this setting. Well, this is a nice Instagram wall. All I need is my horse tied up here. Yeah. Cheers. Ready? Beautiful cup of standard English breakfast tea. Doesn't get better than that. Tracy knows what she's doing. She's done like the perfect mix, hasn't she? For the first cup of the day, this is everything I need. There's not really a science to it. It's more like second nature, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a we feeling for her. If you think about the amount of tea that this shelter's churned out. I think may get my vote. And the price. 70p. I mean, anything that has a pee after it is a bargain these days, right? Yeah. Even a bottle of water is like at least a pound. It's like a joke. Oh, I find that every time I have a tea, it ends with a P. <laughs> Go over there. Do you have a fact? What sort of fact? Oh, a tea yeah, fact. Tea facts. Tea facts. Tea bags were invented in 1908. No. Yeah, Thomas Sullivan, an American. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Joe, where did you get these facts? Wikipedia. No, see that. <laughs> <laughs> we are off to Timber Yard in Soho. It prides itself on the reverse osmosis it uses with its water. I don't know what that means, but it sounds very impressive, really. It's interesting you said water. Tea is the second most popular drink in the world after water. But I never drink it after water. <laughs> Joe, get out of the cab. We're at Timber Yard in the heart of Soho. My name's Darren. Well, we're special after tea and coffee, so we wanted to make sure it was really high quality. We've sourced some amazing teas. The basis of our blend is a Kenyan, and then we have a Rwandan. It's more aromatic, and it kind of lifts the Kenyan a little, so it balances it off. The final single origin tea in there is a Yunnan from China, which has a natural smokiness, a little bit hot cross bun-like. So a blend is like a tea cocktail. We use a reverse osmosis system to filter our water, it creates the right balance of minerals for a really beautiful tea. The service itself is a bit of theatre. We measure five grams of tea leaves. That's brewed with water at 93 degrees, it's quite specific, and then left to sit with a digital timer, and we set it for five minutes. It seems a long time to a lot of people, but this is speciality tea. It, it takes that little bit longer to brew really well. It's a different process, a good five minutes for a really lovely, intense cup. A pot of our English breakfast tea is £3.90. All right, so we have four and a half minutes. Joe, have you got a joke for us? You know, there are only uh, two main types of tea, uppercase and lowercase. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was so bad that it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Or do you want to do the honours? So this is optimal time to pour the tea. Oh, look at the colour. It's like almost as red as the cup. Cheers. You know what I've discovered? You're a slurper. No, don't say that. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not. Everyone be quiet. Ooh. 
what the... <laughs> yeah, that, that was accidental. I thought the tea was closer to my mouth than it was. Let me do it one more time. It's hot if you don't slurp. It's really hot. <laughs> oh, it's bringing out sweat. I get what he was saying about the smell. This would really pair well with hot cross buns. With the hot cross bun. Yeah. It is lovely, actually. It's an enhanced standard cup of tea. Like, you yeah. could have this in your house. But you'd probably want it with a good show. Something that's on once a week. Do you want a top up? Very good size. Like, there's some places where the cups are almost too big, so by the time you finish your tea, it's cold. Sometimes when I'm having a cup of tea, I like to balance it <laughs> because I'm too lazy to reach forward and put it on the coffee table. We're gonna have an accident in a minute. I really liked it. I just feel very content. You want to get your tea, move off, let's go. But here, you want tea, maybe a brownie, maybe a biscuit, a little chit chat. Royal China Club in Marylebone, please, mate. OK, no problem. Next stop, pretty fancy place. Prides itself on its extensive Chinese tea collection. Tea fact. Do you know why they call it macho tea? Because it's hard. <laughs> Was that a joke? Yes. yes. It's the fact <laughs> section. I don't think they call it macho tea. Is it matcha? It's matcha. Oh. I am Jason Chen, PR manager of the Royal China Group UK. We don't add milk to the tea or sugar. It will be plain. It's good for your health, cleansing. There are different kinds of tea. It's the air, the humidity, the weather, the soil. The tea we are tasting today is one of the most expensive, Dai Hongpo. 50 years old, the flavor is like the wine, the vintage tea. We can only use a special pot, only brewed for Dai Hongpo. Otherwise, you ruin the clay but then surf into a different jar. It means the tea leaf doesn't get you know, too much flavor out of it. The first fill, pour it out, clean the extra tea leaves, and then on the second filling, to start drinking. There's so different kind of tea. I, I cannot find some kind of words in English. Is there anything in Chinese you would say? Heng shun is the feeling, rather than just the taste from the tongue. Wow. So it's an experience. Yeah. yeah. Sell it to the customer, 80 pounds a pot the most expensive tea we will probably ever taste in our life. Are you going to shut it? Absolutely not. It's all shrouded in mystery. I don't really know what this tea leaves have seen, mm. exactly where they've come from. I love how delicate it is. I would buy an incense candle of this smell. I was just thinking that yeah. thing. It is exactly like incense. You'd yeah. want this smell when you're having a massage. Yeah. We do this? Are we doing this? Yeah. Cheers. That's a lot lighter than I expected. I think it's quite earthy. It tastes like this kind of golden, like... I can't find the right words to describe the taste of it. I don't know the words. Tea just tastes like tea. Yeah. You know when you have wood smoked fish and the smell you get from that is basically the taste that you get in this? Wood. We've said that, another one. Oak. <laughs> Do you know what's interesting is with the other teas, you take like a pretty big gulp of it. This, you take a tiny yeah, sip. Yeah, that's true. I get the feeling, the, the smoothness. The throat feeling yeah. that he was talking about. It's an experience. It's not, it's not about the taste buds, it's about the feeling you get right here. Andrew, you're the pro. Tell us what flavors we're tasting in this. <clears throat> Slurper. Slurp in action. Nothing wrong with it. really dries out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's your worthy winner? Really like the Royal China Club. I thought it was Waller, but Tim Biard is my winner because it's so cozy. And he was a tea connoisseur. Yeah, he knew his stuff, didn't really? he? But my favorite is the cabman shelter. Is it Tracy? Oh yeah, I love Tracy. Tracy was amazing. Like, like just no nonsense, you know? Yeah. Joe, one word to sum each place up. Cabman shelter. Tasty. Tim Biard. Fresh. Royal China Club. Oh, something's up. Tasty, professional. Who told you you were tasty? <laughs> Can I be something other than posh? <laughs>